and there's a picture of the team. Oh, there's someone come in. Is he coming to the door? Oh, Jesus. I hope I'm not going to be in trouble, yeah? Morning and welcome to Tiraspol, the capital of Transistia. As you already know, I'm here, but one thing I wanted to do while I was here is that Sheriff are playing into Milan. I've got my scarf and I've also got my jersey as well. As a big Liverpool fan and a massive football fan in general, when I was looking at the Champions League and looking at the groups, I saw this team, Sheriff, never heard of them before. I was wondering, like, who are they? And obviously coming to Transnistria, a country that technically doesn't exist, they are the main team in Transnistria. The question is though, how has a team in Transnistria got into the Champions League? The Champions League is all the elite teams in Europe. So how Sheriff? And that that's what I want to know. I want to know what this club's about. So while I'm here, I want to find out as much as I can about this club. I want to try and meet people that are fans. I want to try and maybe go to the ground. And I'm going to see if I can get the Inter game as well. I don't know how hard it is to get tickets, but we're going to find out. Before we get into this though, I just want to thank Surfshark for sponsoring this video and for supporting me. Surfshark is a VPN which allows you to change your virtual location and helps you keep your online identity safe. Surfshark has a lot of benefits. One being very helpful if you like Netflix. The only problem is there's not half as much on UK Netflix as there is on other Netflix. For example, an absolute classic like Catch Me If You Can is not available on UK Netflix, but when you go on Surfshark and change the location to the US, as you can see, it's there. You'd be surprised, there's so many other films like that too. Surfshark is also great for allowing you to access the internet in restricted countries like China. But as there's still a lot of travel restrictions in place, it's also good to keep you safe at home from scam coronavirus emails and from people getting any of your details by using Surfshark and their clean web feature which blocks ads and trackers etc. Get Surfshark VPN with the link in description. Also use promo code SIMON which allows you to get 83% off and four months extra for free now because it's Black Friday this month. There's even a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk. Right now let's meet Tim. Hey how are you mate you good? Hey brother. Good, good to, to see, see you. You too? How are you mate you good? Right. Tim and Simone, as you will have seen them on the last video. I want to know about Sheriff. You see them pop up in the table. I'm like, who are these guys? Tim's lived here for how long you've been here 15 now? years. 15 years. Simone, you're from here, right? Yeah. Who are Sheriff in your eyes, mate? Like, where's this club come from? How have they just appeared in the Champions League? Sheriff is a monopoly. They basically control the major business in Transanista. They have everything. They have petrol stations. They have all the major magazines and they have the stadium so of course as a monopoly they're bringing in billions of dollars they need something to do with it so they started a football club is that what actually happened that's what happened the because the thing is you get people like liverpool yeah. the club's named after the town isn't it but obviously coming into tiraspol it's called sheriff not tiraspol so sheriff the name is actually the name of the company that owns it it's the name of the company that owns it it was started clear back in the 90s by a police chief and it just took off 90s. for what what, what did they back, do? Back in the wild days when uh, the collapse of the Soviet Union, everything was just unregulated, unrestricted, and it was just the wild east. Just as a, a hobby, they started a football club, built a massive stadium, and started bringing in players from all over the world. As a result, now they're in Champions League. But they've qualified by just chucking loads of money at it. Chucking loads of money at it, and they brought in a, a lot of really top-level players from Africa. Are they getting paid good salaries? The players in Madrid, the total, I believe, is 300 million. The total for all the players in Tiraspol is 3 million. So 3 million compared to Real Madrid's 300 million. Right. 1%. And they beat them. <laughs> 1% of the budget and they beat them. That's class. Okay, so let me ask you this. Like, what do the people of Transnistria think of Sheriff? Yeah, so you can answer this. You've lived here all your life, mate. This company gives salary and work for people that's living here. Half of them like, especially old people, young, young generation. Who yeah. want more freedom, they don't have here choice. So the more we're speaking about it now then, the more I'm getting the vibe that this 
company sort of run the whole country. Would I be right saying that? Yeah, I mean, they have their own bank. They have their own bank. How yeah. does that work then? Is that regulated? No, of course not. They do whatever they want here. They're the most powerful monopoly in the country. They control the biggest political party in parliament. They get what they want. Now, having said that, I'm not trying to say they're necessarily bad because they are the driving force of the economy. If you took away sheriff from the economy here, the yeah. economy would collapse. They pay the biggest salaries, they employ the most people, and they bring the most products here. It's not a bad thing, but yeah, there should be more choice, frankly. Yeah, it yeah. would really help. No, me, I get that. You know? This is the headquarters of sheriff. This is the headquarters of sheriff? What, the whole business? Just for their magazines, which is extensive and covers all of Transanista. Magazines? Yeah. So this isn't the whole business, this is just for the magazines. Right. Ironically, it's mostly empty. A lot of these buildings are just money laundering. They just want to get rid of all these rubles they make because they can't exchange all the rubles for dollars or euros. Yeah, yeah. So they need to build. That's it's good for the economy, but, yeah. but you get a lot of half empty buildings is what happens. I just find it absolutely mad that on this side of the street, as you can see the building behind me, really luxurious, gated and everything. Then you look at the other side of the road and, you know, pretty sort of run-down buildings really, really old buildings. You're going from that extreme to that extreme behind me, which is just insane. You say though, mate, that's the magazine's headquarters. Yeah, that's right. What other businesses have they got then? They have the, all the petrol stations. All the petrol stations. They now own Cavent, which is the maker of some of the best cognac in the world. They're trying to buy out the Stare Klebos, which is the old Soviet beer factory here. Jeez, um, so they're just trying to just get everything, basically. Anything that makes money, they take over. That's how it works. What are our chances of getting tickets for this intermatch? It's very difficult because you can only use a local bank card. So I can't use a bank card over here? No, we're sanctioned, so you can't use Visa or MasterCard. In order to buy tickets, you have to use a local bank card. That's yeah. the only way. They're going to release a block of tickets, and we have to be ready to buy. because How many do they release? Like 1,000. Is so that it? That's all. So we have to be ready to buy, buy, buy. We're just passing Hotel Russia, this is called? This is Hotel Russia. This is where Inter Milan is staying. So, yeah, Inter actually staying here tonight. And as you can see, the two coaches are over there already. Yeah, so this is where Inter stay in. There's a few fans here as well. Italia? No, no. Transnistria. Transnistria. No. Italian? No, no. no. English? England. Ah, yeah. Welcome to Liverpool. Liverpool. How are you? Welcome to Yeah, Liverpool. Liverpool. I've got my no. sheriff top on. No, no, my sheriff. Liverpool. You're a Liverpool fan. No. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Liverpool, good. Klopp, Salah. Yeah. Oh, 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 Salah. Yes, so, you sheriff? Uh, sheriff? You sh sheriff. Yeah, you're sheriff. sheriff. Oh, the English. Nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> you speak English? Uh, what? Uh, so, so. Yeah. Ah, English is good. Sharif. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, have you seen any players? Uh, ah, they're in Inter, here now. Inter. What What do you think the score will be tonight? Uh, zero, zero. Yeah. Three, one, 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 zero, zero. One, 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 zero, zero. Three, two, two, one. Oh, we've got it all. Enjoy the game. Sherry for the win. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. Yeah, Sherry for the win. It was good to meet some fans, but to be honest, if that was in the UK and Inter Milan was staying at a hotel, mate, there'd have been hundreds of people outside it. Yeah. You There's know, like five people out there. <laughs> people here just aren't accustomed to it. Yeah. And also they're a little more conservative and reserved, so they're not going to run there and be a typical uh, fan. We're just walking into the town centre now, and to Tim's pointed out that there's another sheriff building behind me. Like, I don't know how it looks on camera, but that looks like a massive Dubai hotel, to be honest. It's huge, as you can see. Literally starts at that block and finishes at this over here. And then again, you look the other side of the road, and there's just not much happening at all. It just doesn't make sense, does it? No, it doesn't. You think if this company have got all this money, why aren't they building the whole of the city center? Up? Yeah, it does seem ridiculous. They have Mate, all that this. looks like a five-star Dubai hotel. And it's virtually empty. It's empty? Yes. Local people cannot afford an apartment here. Oh, so this is residential then? Not all of it. It's business, it's shops, it's residential. It's a little bit of mix of everything, and it takes up an entire city block. Can we go and have a look at it? We'll go walk over there? Yeah, let's walk over there. Right, we're just walking up here now. So this is like in the building. This is the walkway underneath it. That whole thing's empty. Let's have a look at the next one. That's empty. 
me? Mate, I don't think you were actually lying when you said everything's empty. How long is that? How old is this building? Oh, this is brand new. They haven't even completely finished everything yet. Okay, so there's yeah. still time for people to move yeah. in. So if I come back here in, say, 12 months, do you think this place would be more full or do you think it'll be similar? I think it'll be probably 20% full. The small businesses can't afford it and the local people can't afford to buy an apartment here. But they don't really care because they just need to spend this money. It's mad. Like, you look at this building, the staircase behind us and then you look across the road and there's just nothing there the thing that I'm noticing as well now seeing some of these sheriff buildings is they've got a signature look haven't they they all have a unique look that's specific to sheriff that's kind yeah. of the old look of the czars they like is that what it's look. for is it yeah we've just come to a sheriff supermarket it's quite a big one so this is obviously sheriff Sheriff. So this is the same company, right? It's the same company. Same company that owns the football team, owns all the major shops. And how many supermarkets have they got? There's hundreds. Hundreds? Because literally every small village, if, if it's a thousand people, they yeah. have a shop. Right, I'm just going to pop in here. We are now in a sheriff supermarket. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Does the sheriff owner like Thunderbirds by any chance? Because uh, all yeah. the staff in here are dressed <laughs> like Thunderbirds. Check this out. Why on earth is everyone dressed like a Thunderbird? Me, I'm not joking, there's Thunderbirds everywhere, mate. Hi, how are you? Look at all the Thunderbirds. Specific, thank you. Thunderbirds are gold. That's a mad uniform, that. It's crazy. Why would they have the top black and yellow, but then have the colours of the supermarket blue and red? It doesn't make any sense, but it genuinely welcome to doesn't. I want to go and visit the stadium now. <laughs> So we're in the complex now. It's quite a big place, to be honest. There's some building over here. I'm not too sure what that is. It's got a picture of a football on it. But this has to be the stadium over here. It looks like this too. There's a big one over there, and there's another one here, but that one looks bigger in the background. It's a pretty bizarre place, this, to be honest. It's absolutely dead, as you can see. The car park, everything is just empty. So here's one of the stadiums over here. That's one. And there's another one in the back over there. I've never been to a football ground like this before. They've obviously spent a fair bit of money on doing it up. But then you look across the road and there's like this just massive wasteland there. I wonder if I can actually get into this stadium. I've got my sheriff top on, so hopefully that'll work some magic. Right, so this is the second stadium, I think. Yeah, there's a big padlock on the gate. That's the stadium through there. The stadium that I'm really interested in getting into though is the main one, which is this one here. You can just see the stand. I wonder how I can get into this one. Here we go, here's a stand over here. Right, this is it. This has got to be the main stadium. This is bigger than the other one. As much as I say this is bigger than the other one, which it is, the capacity of this stadium is 12,500. That is not much more than Wrexham Town where I was brought up. To think this Champions League game's playing here. Oh my God, I've got to get inside of here. Right, there's a door open there. It's got my name written all over it. Right, let's see how this goes, wish me luck. Doesn't look like there's anybody here. I can't believe how easy it is to just walk into a stadium with a door open. I don't want to speak too soon though. This is insane, right, look at this. The door is there. The pitch is here. Oh there's a camera up there. That was the easiest thing I have ever done. There's absolutely nobody here. But this is Sheriff's Ground. That's actually the pitch. Four stands, one Sheriff over there. Oh wow, there's two guys here. Just waved at him. I wonder how this is gonna go. So yeah, there's four. I don't know if I should sort of pretend that I'm not filming here or what. I hope he doesn't speak to me. Let's try and walk past him. Hi, how are you? Uh, are you good? Milan. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you. Simon, nice to meet you. Wow, this is insane. This is literally the pitch. This is insane. It's actually a really nice pitch, you know. We've even got the goalposts here. Flipping heck. 
into Milan are going to be taking shots at that. Just doing a lap of the pitch here. I came in from in the top corner. I think this is going to be the main stand. I don't know if you can see up there. You've got VIP at the top. So I'm guessing they're all the like director's boxes and stuff. Let's go and have a look at these boxes. See if anybody's in it. It is surprising how small this ground actually is. Like I said, 12 and a half thousand. But I don't know. It doesn't feel any bigger than Wrexham, to be honest. I don't know if I'm pushing my luck coming up here, but... So far, so good. Yeah, I'm guessing these are the director's boxes. You can see all the chairs in there, nice chairs. And this will be where all the commentators sit, I'm guessing. This is mad. So these are actually the dugouts. I'm not too sure which one's the home or away. You've got one here and then one there. And then obviously this is the tunnel into Milan. I'll be coming through here, Real Madrid. Doing the tunnel walk myself. I'm guessing this is close. This has got to be close, surely. Yeah, that's closed. On this wall by there, I don't know if you can see it, but it says, we are in the Champions League. And there's a picture of the team. Oh, there's someone coming. Is he coming to the door? Oh, Jesus. I hope I'm not going to be in trouble, yeah? Hi, how are you? It's, it's what's wrong? It's Miroslav, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheriff. Give me Miroslav. Sorry, my, my Russian, very small. Uh, Sorry. Where uh, is Miroslav? Uh, Miroslav, yeah, yeah, he's over here. So I, I yeah I walk I walk around here. Yeah. So yeah I, I go over there anyway. Thank you. Спасибо. Thank you. Is is this door here, open here? No no exit. No no exit here. So I can walk here but just just yeah. not in there. It's point. Ah no problem. Спасибо спасибо. Thank you very much. That's good. And Miroslav. Possible, no, it, no here. Miroslav, okay, no problem. Um, can I walk on the pitch? No, field, no. no. Field, no, no, no problem. No. Thank you, especially Beth, thank you. That was lucky. I'm not too sure who Miroslav is. I'm guessing Miroslav's maybe the grounds one or something. I thought I was pushing my luck saying, can I go on the pitch? I think I've done pretty well here, considering I've been able to just walk in and have a look around. I think it's best for me to leave now before anybody else comes out, though. Don't want to draw too much attention. There's only one other thing that I need to tick off now, and that's attend the Inter game. Get my scarf back on and see what the atmosphere is like. I don't have a ticket yet, but I'm going to try and get one. What an interesting experience that was. I never thought it would be so easy just to walk into a ground. Look at it, the place is dead. There's absolutely nothing here. So we've just arrived at the stadium now, night before the match, and the press conference is on, and apparently an open training session. This is the stadium behind me, so I'm got a clue where we're going, but we're going to see if we can get in. What do you reckon? Through here? Here we go. Champions League media entrance. Let's see how this goes. Media working area. Right, we've got Champions League. Organisational meeting, press conference room. Oh Jesus, that's a press conference room. Stadium looks good. Just looking here, you've even got the referees training and then you've got all the sideboards down there. Right, I'm just gonna keep going up and see where it takes me. Ah, okay, so now I'm right at the top of the stand. There's the pitch. Even the referees are there by the dugouts. And then you've got the media boards there. Jesus, people started to look then. Right, let's go and have a look on the pitch. Corner flags are in. Referees are still training over there. The only problem I've got now though, everybody's got a lanyard around their neck. And I look blatantly obvious without one. All right, there's not much more to see here to be honest. So I'm gonna leave. Right, I'm just making my way around the stadium now to see if I can see anything else going on. Hi, how are you? And where's the training session happening? Ah, this way. Perfect, nice. thank you very much. Right, here we go. Just turned out of this pitch. Look. Door completely open. No one to check anything. And here we have Sheriff training. Right, there's not too much to see here. Sheriff are literally training just behind me. But we're too far away, to be honest. There's a bus turning up now. I haven't got a clue who this is. Is that the Inter Milan bus? It actually is as well. Yeah, this is definitely the Inter Milan players getting off the bus here. There you go, here's Vidal with his Mohican getting off the bus. That is Vidal, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Right, let's see if we can get a little closer. There's actually some interviews happening now with Inter, look. So I don't know if you can see in the back, but Inter Milan are actually on the pitch. Right, let's go on the pitch with the Inter Milan players, this will be crazy. Right, up there, I'm on the pitch as you can see. And these are all the Inter players. That's absolutely insane. I don't know what to say here, to be honest, because I don't want it to actually look like I'm filming. But this is just crazy, like literally. This is the start of the pitch. You've got Vidal over there, and all the Inter players are just all here. 
I've just clocked that in the coat over there you've got Edin Dzeko, next to him you've got Perisic. This is surreal, I don't even know what to do to be honest because I don't really want to push my luck and I go up and start chatting to him. Right, I've been here for like 10-15 minutes now and I don't think I'm going to see much more so I'm going to head. Oh my god, I cannot even believe how easy that was. But honestly, I tell you, interplay players look confident, all laughing and joking. Tomorrow's going to be a tough match, that's for sure. Right, we're at the stadium and I have managed to get a ticket. I did buy it on Viagogo because that was the only place I could buy it. And I've been stung from that website before and I'm really not a fan of it. I don't recommend anyone buy tickets off it. And I just hope this ticket works, to be honest. The last time I bought a ticket off Viagogo was when I went to the Brit Awards and I actually made a video on that. I'll pop it in the description so you can see it. And via Gogo selling like scam tickets. Promised myself I would never buy a ticket from there again. But here we are, and I bought one, so let's see. Right, here we are, we're getting to the main gate now. Ticket, ticket, show me please. Okay. All good? Cheers, thank you very much. Right, so far, so good. I'm through. Stadium's behind me all lit up. It's not that busy at the minute, but Jesus, the stadium's that small. I don't know if it will get any busier. So the time now is one minute to nine. So we're just over an hour away from kickoff. Right, mate, we're in different entrances. Have a good one. Enjoy the match. Let's hope Enjoy. Sheriff get three points. Passport. Thank you very much. Right, we are through two lots of security. We're now in like the inner ring at the stadium. I've just got to find gate eight now. I'll be honest, I'm absolutely dreading this ticket, not scanning. Honestly, if I go, go let me down again. Jesus. Here we go. Gate eight. Please work, for God's sake. And we're in, finally. I've not been in this end yet. Right by the corner flag, I think that's where I came in the other day. The amount of riot police behind me is just insane. I don't know how it's gonna kick off tonight. I don't think there's enough people here. Right, let's see what snacks they've got available at Sheriff. Oh, the Thunderbirds are here. Hi, how are you? Uh, one popcorn, please, and one water. Did it not. There we go, mm -hmm. perfect. Ah, thank you very much. Right, I'm going to go and try and find my seat now. Row 30, seat 22. Row 1, row 2, so it's got to be up here. I genuinely think I'm right at the back. Row 30, we're now on row 20. Jesus, look at this. Row 28, row 29, 30's at the back. Seat 22. These are actually really good seats, even though we're at the back. You've got the Inter fans, which are over there. Inter are trading down here. And then obviously, it is quite quiet though, to be uh, Jennifer started singing in the corner right over there. That must be where all the hardcore Transnistrian ultras are, right in the far corner. So you've got the Inter fans behind me there, and then you've got the hardcore ultras over there. I've actually got this completely wrong. The Inter fans are actually like the closest to us, so as you can see, it's empty. I thought they were over the far corner. So looking at it, really, I reckon, what, about 50 Inter fans? From here, it looks like there's, yeah, if that. Here they come, they're coming out of the tunnels now. Come on, Sheriff. I just hope Liverpool get them three points at home against Atletico. Come on, Sheriff. Get the popcorn ready. Oh, Jesus, this is horrendous. Do you want that pop go? Mate, that's rancid. Here we go, first Sheriff corner. Oh, right, I've just been speaking to a local. What's your name, sorry? Uh, Maxim. Maxim, Simon. Nice okay. to meet you, Maxim. Nice to meet you what do you think the score's gonna be? I think uh, Sharif can win today. We have a good uh, squad. So you've got your top squad out tonight? Yes. Because I heard that you had some injuries, but those injuries are gone now, are they? Yes, I really believe Sharif can win today. What do you reckon the score is? 2-1 so maybe. 2-1 so one to Sheriff. Yes. Maxim, we're gonna find out. We're 10 minutes in, and I hate to admit it, but I'd say Inter have probably had the best of it. But to be fair, Sheriff have had a couple of chances. What do you think of the game so far, Maxim? Sharif uh, good in uh, defending. Not a lot of moments in the attack. attack. Yeah, here we go. Into free kick in a dangerous position. Mate, so close. I tell you what, Sheriff are making some mistakes here. Inter are all over them. But so far, they're getting away with it. Sheriff fans going crazy in the corner, jumping up and down. Come on, Sheriff. Inter are pushing out. See the Sheriff take a step, they're pushing. Oh, go on, go on. Oh, get in. It's just come on the thing, Liverpool 2-0. I did man you get on last night. Mudge is a Man U fan. 
poor guy. Let's just get keep Ollie at the wheel, mate. Ollie's at the wheel. Inter are just getting back to back corners here. To be fair, Sheriff again a bit of a pound in here. Just corner after corner. They're getting their way through it at the minute though. It's not a free kick. Come on. What did that guy just shout? Uh, he shout uh, referee out, referee out. Oh my oh. god. Mate, hey, how is it still nil-nil? Inter have got a corner right on the edge of the 18-yard box. This is not good. They're getting a beat in here. How oh, this is nil-nil, I've got a clue. Inter have just hit the post there. Oh my god. Here we go, looking at the board now. Attempts into 13, Sheriff 1. They're getting battered here. Do you know what though? Even though they're getting battered, when they're coming forward, I think they could get one. The keeper's just passed it to the Inter striker. How this is nil-nil is genuinely beyond me. I've never seen a game live where someone's had that many chances and not scored. Here we go, first Sherry free kick. Oh, he's took it short. Oh, go on. Uh, there we go, half time, nil nil. What do you reckon, Maxim? Nil nil, half time. You're lucky, mate. It's a not bad result for first time. For the amount of chances they've had, it's a great. Yes, great. Inter is a strong team, but we have a good defending. The second time will be more moments. Hopefully, he can sort them out half time. Let's get a goal. Right, here we go, second half. Let's hope it's a better one for Sheriff. We're 20 seconds into the second half, and Inter have already got a corner. I hope this is not going to be an onslaught like the first. Good header away. Come on, was that really a free kick? What do you reckon, Maxim? Free kick or not? I don't know. Come I think on. the referee was wrong. I agree with you. Another into free kick right on the edge of the ball. Good defending again, Sheriff. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Jesus Christ. Into 1 0. That's gutting, that is, but it has been coming. Mate, hopefully he'll wake Sheriff up now because they've been doing nothing, have they? It's not end. It's not end, mate. 36 minutes to go. You're still going with Sheriff 2 1? Yes, yes. I like the confidence. I hope Sheriff can get one back here. Sheriff on the counter. Come on, Sheriff. He's going to get a shot here. Oh, fair play, he got a shot away there. Maxim ball guys in bits over here. <laughs> yes, it was a good chance. It was a good chance. Mate, they're having more shots now though, aren't they? Mate, it's 2-1, might be right after all. Maxim, let me ask you a question. What do you think of the owners of Sheriff of the Football Club? Yes, I like it. Uh, yeah. It's a good uh, supermarkets. Yeah, and, uh, good supermarkets, yes. Do you know anybody who doesn't like ah. Sheriff the company? Yes, yes, I know these people. And why don't they like it? The main reason it's because it's a uh, rich, uh, richest. Uh, yeah, it's a very richest country. Yeah. Well, richest company. Richest company. Mo Monopoly. Mon oh, oh, mate, oh. mate. Oh, it's coming back in. Ah, jeez. Yeah, so people just don't like it because it's a very rich monopoly. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, oh Jesus! The land fans are going crazy on the fence. What do you think of that? Uh, anyway, goalkeeper played well. The goalkeeper did a double save then, yes, and then he's tapped save. it in. Yes, just a lucky moment. Yeah, two 0 now though. It's going to be some flipping road back if they're going to try and get a point out of this. We're into the 75th minute now and Inter are just killing the game to be honest, they're 2-0 up so they don't need to go forward and start pushing it to be honest, so they're just sitting back taking control of the game. Inter Milan 3-0. Jesus Christ, easy goal, mistake by the defender, just rang random. What did you think of that mate? It's a bad day. Defender mistake. Yes, but I still support them. Yeah, 100% man. You know, you support your team through thick and thin, don't you? This could be the last kick of the game, Sheriff free kick. Finally got a goal! Get yes. in! They scored! <laughs> Happy days! It was 3-1 at Milan as well, wasn't it? But we still don't know how many extra time. I know, mate, you can still come back. And the full-time whistle goes. Maxim, it's so good to meet you, mate. Yes. Look after That's yourself. Twice. And I hope Sheriff get a next win against Real Madrid. Yes, I believe it. Fingers crossed, mate. So that's it. 3-1. Flip it, eh? It's good that they got a goal back at the end, but to be honest, Milan did deserve it. They battered them. I reckon they had at least 20 attempts on goal. At 
at least. More importantly, I want to know what the Liverpool score ended up, and I can't even check my phone because the signal's really bad here. Right, let's get out of the stadium. Here we go, Inter Milan's are kicking off over here. Check this out. Oh my god, look at all them riot police up there, there's loads of them. They can't be expecting any trouble here, surely. Just left the stadium now, it's behind me, but yeah, it's been a really interesting day to be honest, learning about the football club, learning about Transnistria, and obviously hearing Maxim's thoughts on Sheriff, and you know, he likes Sheriff, where obviously Tim said earlier, the older generation like it, but the younger not, so obviously Maxim proves that wrong, so a lot of people are going to like it and a lot of people are not, but overall there's been a really good atmosphere in the ground, a really good atmosphere in the city, interesting place, I highly recommend you visiting Sheriff if you can get a ticket. For all the Sheriff fans watching this, I really hope you beat Real Madrid, I really hope you beat Shakhtar Donetsk, and I really hope you qualify from the group, because I'd love to see you go further. But thank you for an amazing experience, it's been good to be travelling again, and to be out of the country, and I look forward to making more videos. If you've not got me on Insta and Twitter, it's at Simon J Wills, and have a good one, and I'll see you soon.